Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to create a double sidebar in Weebly. Okay, so this video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial that can be found on Weebly Tricks, and I will post a link to that written step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video. Okay, so here's a quick view of the demo site that we'll be using for this tutorial. Okay. Alright, so let's get started. Step 1. Open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. At the top here, click on theme. And on the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. Right. Step two, create a new page layout. Okay, so on the top here, under header type, choose either header.html or no header.html, uh, depending on whether or not um, you would if you would like your new double sidebar page layout to have the banner image or not. So since we're going to since we want our new uh, double sidebar page layout to have a banner image, I'm going to choose the header page layout here. So I'm going to select all the code here on the right within the header.html page layout. Select all. Copy. Now go under header type here. Click the plus sign. Click new header type and type, I'm going to call this double, okay, click outside of it to save it, select all of the HTML coding that comes with this um, HTML file, delete it, and then paste um, all the HTML coding that you copied from the page layout that you chose, and we chose the header.html page layout, and paste that into the new double.html double page layout. Okay. Step three, delete sections code. All right, so now locate um, within, the new, within the new page that they just created, look for the white sections code. They are located within your main content uh, div and they are right here, so here's the main content div. Okay, here's the white sections code. We're just gonna select them, delete it, delete it. And I'm just gonna tidy up this area here. Step four, add HTML coding. All right, so um, what you wanna do is we're gonna create the three divs, and the three divs are gonna translate into the three columns, the two sidebars, and the main content area. So within the container div, within the main content div, we're going to create these three divs here. So use this, use the orange coding in the written tutorial as a model. I'm going to um, type it in to show you how I do it. So I'm just gonna delete this white content code here for right now. Make some space, and I'm going to create the first, uh, the left sidebar. So it's going to be div class equal left. Actually, open curly bracket left colon content closing. Close the div. All right now for the the uh, the middle main content area. Div class equal middle, and then we're going to put back in the white content code that we just took out. Okay, and the last, the right sidebar, when you div class equal right, open curly bracket at right, colon content, closing curly bracket, and then close the div. Okay. Now, if you would like um, either one of your sidebars to be not global, then all you would do is within, you know, say you wanted the left, um, the left sidebar to not be global. And by not global, I mean, if you applied this page layout to multiple pages um, and you change the left sidebar on one of those pages, the left sidebar on the other pages that have this page layout would not automatically reflect the changes you just made. So to do that, to make this left, we'll say, for example, we're going to make the left sidebar non-global. It's in the code here. I'm just going to write global equals false. Okay, so that would make the left sidebar, for example, not global. But for this specific instance, I'm going to keep the left and right sidebar global. Right. Um, and also for the next step, uh, quickly, just remember the class or div that has been designated to your main content areas div. So here's the main content areas div here that we just worked with. And the main content area div has a class 
called main hyphen wrap. So I'm going to remember that for the next step. Step five, add CSS code. All right, so now copy the CSS code that is provided in the written tutorial here. Copy. On the left, under styles, click main.less. And you're going to locate your main content area's CSS coding. Okay, and we're going to paste the CSS coding that we just copied directly above the main content area's CSS code. So we're going to right here, make a space. Right click paste. Okay, there it is. And if a little red dot like this appears, just delete that. Okay. And now um, you need to, let me go back and show you here. So look here in the CSS coding. There is orange coding here in the written tutorial. You need to put in your, um, the main content area divs ID or class that you obtained from the previous step. So for this particular theme, we're going to put dot main hyphen wrap. Um, into two locations in the CSS coding, as shown in the written tutorial in orange. And that's all you got to do. Okay, so just click save. All right. Step six, select double page layout. So go to back to the editor, go to pages at the top. We're going to apply our new page layout to the home page. So we got pages at the top, click on home, Double, okay. And that's it. All right, guys. So let's give these sidebars a quick test and see if they're working correctly. So I'm gonna drag and drop some elements in here. As you can see, let me scroll down a little bit so you can see. My mouse is not scrolling. I think the scroll on this isn't working. All right, but you can see here, so you got the left sidebar, the main content area here in the middle, and the right sidebar here on the right naturally. So I'm going to type, I'm going to drag and drop these elements in here. This is the left sidebar we just created. Oops. That's created. Another one. This is the right sidebar that we just created. And. This is the main content area. There we go. All right, guys. So that is how you create a double sidebar in Weebly.